Uh, yeah. Jimmy in his own mind thinks it's hilarious uh, to be a pervert sexual harasser like that and thinks, oh, all the kids will love that. It'll be such a funny joke as I try to humiliate their professor in front of them. Yeah. So the reason why he wrote the apology card was because every time he had made inappropriate comments about me at work, I ignored it. You know, uh, but. As I was walking into the studio, because my students were supposed to watch the show, it was their final assignment, watch the show and there was a written assignment related to the show. And as I was walking in with them, that was when he made the comment and he didn't make a comment about a news skirt. He made a comment about how sexy my legs were in front of my students and it was degrading obviously. and. I'm, I, want, I want my students to respect me and take me seriously. Seeing a, an older man that I work with talk about my body like that in front of my students was wrong. And so for the first time, I actually snapped at him and told him to never make a comment like that about me again. And so I think he realized, oh, I think I might have gone, I think I like, I think now she might actually like make a big deal about this. And that's why she, he wrote me that apology card to basically try to calm things down. But I mean, comments continued after that. Like that's who he was. And he was, you know, he pretends as if he's like a fighter for progressive values. I heard the way that he spoke to producers here. He is anything but the so called leftist that he tries to present himself to be. And his audience reflects that. His audience reflects that in the way that they responded to that video. Because anyone on the left, anyone who wants to fight for decency, to ensure that everyone lives a life of de decency, wouldn't watch that video and think, oh no, that's my guy. That's who I want to side with. That's who I want to fight with. Because everything that Jimmy does on a daily basis, it's entire his entire intention is to be indecent and to be incredibly cruel to others, regardless of how much he agrees with them, regardless of how little disagreement he has politically speaking with these individuals. It's literally his bread and butter. This is how he makes his money.